Hey everyone, welcome to Mrs. Mess Hall, and today we are making turkey chili with a cast iron cornbread. So to start, we're going to go ahead and small dice a whole onion. I like to small dice them because I'm not a fan of big chunks of onion in my... Then we're going to take a break to cry because this onion is uh, pretty mean. <laughs> Next, we're going to mince some garlic. I find it easier to peel if you lightly crush the cloves of garlic with the side of your knife. I find that the skin comes off a lot easier. And then we're just going to go ahead and mince all the garlic once we have it. Then we're going to cut some Roma tomatoes. I like Romas because they're pretty firm. And with chili, we're going to add crushed tomatoes as well. So I like the firmness of a fresh tomato in addition to the crushed tomatoes. So I went ahead and did these at a medium dice, which is just a little bit bigger than how we cut up the onions. Now we're gonna roast some corn. I just went and picked up a bag of frozen corn. You can use fresh if you'd like. I just don't think it's worth it. Then we're just gonna cut up two tablespoons of butter and put that all over the corn and then season with some salt and pepper. And we're gonna roast it in the oven for about 10 minutes. So now we're going to cut up a orange bell pepper. I chose orange just to get, you know, a different color in there. You can use whatever kind of bell pepper you like. Um, but we're going to go ahead and roast the bell pepper. And it's a technique that I actually really love to do when it comes to bell peppers because it is going to take the skin off the bell pepper. And pepper skin, especially in soups or chilies it gets very tough so by peeling the skin you get that unique pepper flavor without having that bite that the skin would bring so we're gonna broil this in our oven until the skin turns black and when I mean black I mean like black black it's gonna look burnt but that's okay So while both of those are in the oven, we're going to go ahead and small dice some celery. I split the celery down the center just to get smaller chunks, and then we're just going to go ahead and dice it. Now we're going to cut up a jalapeno. I'm only using one and I'm taking out the seeds and the stems because I'm not 
big on you know really spicy chili but if you want to add more you can if you'd like to leave the seeds in you can if you like something hotter uh, but I'm just choosing to take them out so when you're actually cutting a pepper you want to put the skin uh, face down on your cutting board uh, that'll actually prevent the pepper from slipping as you're cutting it um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this as uh, fine as possible and of course as soon as you are done cutting your jalapeno make sure you wash your hands I cannot tell you how many times my husband is cutting jalapenos and then the first thing he does is wipe his eyes so now we can measure out all of our seasonings and I just put them together in the same bowl and next we are gonna check to see how our corn is doing and this is a pretty good color on the corn you can go longer if you'd like but this is pretty perfect and we're checking on our bell pepper you see the black spots and that's still not done enough we want it to look like this as dark as possible and once uh, you pull them out of the oven we're gonna go ahead and just place them in a bowl and wrap them with saran wrap the saran wrap will prevent the steam from getting out of the bowl and steam the peppers and uh, make it easier for the skin to come off once they're cooled So we're just going to go ahead and place one of the peppers on our cutting board and the skin just peels right off. I still have mine a little hot, but if you need to wait for them to cool down more, you absolutely can. You don't want to burn yourself. Um, but like I said, the skin will just slide right off. And once we have them all peeled, we're just going to go ahead and large dice them and place them in a bowl with our corn. So you want to keep your fresh veggies and your cooked veggies separate because we're going to add them at separate times. And here I've got a can of crushed tomatoes. Uh, this is the size can that you want for this recipe. So we're going to go ahead and get our pot ready. I just put two tablespoons of olive oil on the bottom of that and then we're going to add in our fresh veggies and our minced garlic and we're just going to sweat these until uh, the onions become translucent and the celery is soft and that you can really smell that garlic. We really do not want to overcook these. They're going to be cooking for quite a while because we still have to brown the turkey and then they're going to be simmering once everything's in the pot. So you want to make sure that you don't overcook them to start. Now we're going to add in our ground turkey. I just have a, a pound of it. Then we're going to add our seasonings in and just start mashing up the turkey. I like when my chili is uh, has smaller chunks of meat, so you, at least for me, I really like to mash my turkey in and make sure it's broken up pretty well in order to avoid those you know big chunks of uh, ground meat once, once our turkeys browned we're gonna go ahead and add in our chicken stock our crushed tomatoes 
and all of our cooked vegetables. So I'm, I'm not a person who likes beans in my chili, but if you are, you can totally add them. Kidney beans would be great in this chili. But if you're going to add beans, this is the stage that you would add them. You don't want to add them any earlier than this. And now we're just going to let it simmer on the stove top until our cornbread is ready. So for this cornbread recipe, I'm actually doing a cast iron cornbread. So it's a pretty basic uh, cornbread mix, but we're going to be baking it in the oven in a cast iron skillet. And I love doing this because it gets that really crisp outside on your cornbread. And that's my favorite part. So, and of course with baking, you do have to be very precise. You have to measure everything out as but even with having to be precise, cornbread is pretty easy to make. So if you haven't baked before, this is definitely something anybody can do. So once we got all of our dry ingredients together, we're going to go ahead and add our wet ones and just mix it all together and make sure that there's no lumps and you've got a smooth product. Then we're going to heat our cast iron on the stove and I just take a couple tablespoons of butter and are rubbing it on the cast iron making sure I'm getting all the corners and crevices. You don't want anything to stick to your cast iron. And then I'm just going to leave the remainder of the butter to melt in the pan. And we're just going to go ahead and pour our batter straight into the cast iron and once it's all in there and you know even out we're just gonna go ahead and pop it straight in the oven and it'll take about 30 minutes to cook and we're gonna grate some cheese not a lot of people know this but if you get pre grated cheese it actually does not melt as well as if you get block cheese they put starch on uh, pre-grated cheese that prevent it from melting when shipping. So I always like to use block cheese if I can and then I'm just going to go ahead and sprinkle this on my half cooked cornbread and then I'm going to put it back in the oven. I also got a little bit of extra cheese because I love some cheddar cheese on top of my chili. So the longer you let your chili simmer the deeper the flavors are going to be. But now that my cornbread's ready and out of the oven, I'm gonna dish up a bowl of chili and have a great dinner. So if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more weekly videos.